All right, hello everybody and welcome back. We've got another mixed operations problem. Um, this is one that I found off of Facebook and lots of um, lots of people get this one right. It's a very simple problem, but also a lot of people are getting this one wrong. Um, so I'd like to work through this one. Uh, if you'd like to, you can pause the video here, work this one out on your own, and then we'll come back and work it out together. All right, so first of all, you need to remember multiplication has precedence over addition. Um, this is one of the things that people are really uh, getting confused about. I see a lot of people just adding 9 plus 1 plus 9 plus 1, and then they're multiplying all that by 0, and they're saying, well, all this part is 0, so I just have 0 plus 1, uh, and they're getting 1. And I'll tell you right off the bat, that is incorrect. All right, you need to remember the order of operations, okay? Uh, this one's been taught uh, to everybody way back in elementary, elementary school, uh, regardless of how old you are. This is, uh, this is basic like fourth, fifth grade mathematics um, in elementary school, and this has been taught forever. The order of operations is very, very old. It goes way back. It goes back hundreds of years. Multiplications always had precedence uh, over addition. So the first thing that you do in this problem is you actually multiply the 1 times 0. And I know a lot of people are going, well, gee, I read a sentence left to right. Why don't I uh, Why don't I do my math left to right? Why am I not adding? Well, you go left to right, but you're looking for the order of operations as you scan. And as you go left to right, the first thing you see here is the multiplication. That's the higher priority item. So you need to resolve it. 1 times 0 is 0. So all you're left with is 9 plus 1 plus 9 plus 0 plus 1. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, and if you add all that up, you're going to get the answer of 20. All right? And again, I'll say it. Multiplication has precedence over addition. Multiplication, it's defined to be repeated addition. So you need to resolve that first. Uh, and now there are some acronyms out there that a lot of people use to learn the order of operations, um, these haven't always been used. They're just acronyms. There's PEMDAS, there's BODMAS, BEDMAS, BIDMAS. Uh, they're just different acronyms that are used in different English-speaking countries. Um, they all give you the same answer of 20, believe it or not. Um, they, these are not six-step checklists. Um, the uh, multiplication and division have equal precedence. So it doesn't matter if you write the M before the D, the D before the M, uh, and so on. All right, so we'll just take a look at PEMDAS, for example. PEMDAS is parentheses, then exponents, uh, then multiplication and division left to right. Multiplication and division have equal precedence. Division is nothing more than multiplying by a reciprocal. Uh, and then number four, the step four is addition and subtraction. Subtracting is the same thing as adding a negative number. So there's really no difference. Um, so again, uh, and also if you <clears throat> are missing a step, if you don't have parentheses, you look for exponents. If you don't have exponents, you move on to multiplication and division. Um, you don't toss out the order of operations just because a step is missing. You just go to the next step. Um, and a lot of people, again, they don't understand this. A lot of people think that those acronyms, if they know them, a lot of people don't know them, didn't learn order of operations, but I guarantee you we're taught multiplication has precedence over addition. I've got textbooks back from the 1950s and 1913. No textbooks were ever written that taught blindly to solve left to right. Now, a lot of people that did learn the acronyms, unfortunately, they memorized the order of six letters, but they falsely think multiplication comes before division uh, just because of the order of the letters in PEMDAS. You need to remember that exponents are just shorthand for repeated multiplication. Multiplication is shorthand for repeated addition. Uh, and then division is just equivalent to multiplying by reciprocal. Multiplication and division, again, have equal precedence and they're solved left to right. Um, and addition and subtraction also have equal precedence. Um, subtracting, again, is the same as adding a negative number. 
All right. So the order of operations convention applies to all algebra, all expressions uh, and equations, regardless if they're algebraic or non-algebraic. I'll see a lot of people make an argument saying, well, you don't worry about the order of operations if you don't have any, uh, if it's not algebra, or you don't worry about it if you don't have parentheses. If you don't have any parentheses, you just solve left to right. Again, that's false. <clears throat> if you don't have parentheses, you don't have exponents, you move on to multiplication and division. A lot of people forgot that. A lot of people have, have the wrong idea on the order of operations. So... Uh, and the other thing, too, I want to mention real quick is if you get one on your calculator, uh, then you basically don't understand how to use your calculator. Uh, here's an example from an Android phone. Um, this is a scientific calculator. It will give you the correct answer. Uh, your Android cell phone calculator or your iPhone calculator um, works in expression mode and will give you the correct answer of 20. Um, I will show you an example here. Um, like on a Windows computer, you've got um, the calculator is basically works in standard mode or scientific mode. Standard mode works in immediate execution. Scientific mode works uh, in expression mode. There's two different input methods with calculators. And if you don't understand that, uh, you're going to get the wrong answer of one. And I'm going to show you that. All right, we're going to do this scientific calculator here and just show you um, what happens. Nine plus one plus 9 plus 1 times 0 plus 1 equals 20. Notice that on the scientific calculator, um, it works in expression mode. You can enter the entire expression and hit the equal sign, and you do get 20. Now, a lot of people will say, well, my calculator gave me the answer of 1. My little dollar store calculator said the answer is 1. And um, that would be wrong. That would be the incorrect answer. Uh, and I can show you that just by switching this to standard mode. Uh, this is on a Windows PC, by the way. 9 plus 1 plus 9 plus 1 times 0 plus 1 equals. And look what happens. When you're working on this calculator in standard mode, it works in what is called immediate execution mode and not expression mode, meaning... That it's basically acting as if it's hitting the equal sign after every operation. It the only thing you have left here is zero plus one, which equals one. This did not act on the entire expression. A lot of people don't understand that when they're working with a calculator. Now, depending on what type type of calculator you're using, if you're using a calculator like this, what you really need to do is you need to solve the multiplication first. Uh, the 1 times 0, and then add everything up, you'll get the correct answer of 20. Um, but a lot, of people to underst underst a lot of people do not understand that different calculators have different input methods. Uh, so please make sure you understand your calculator. A lot of people do not, and they reinforce an incorrect answer uh, because of their lack of understanding of their calculator. All right, so hopefully the video here has been helpful for you uh, and you understand the reason why it's 20. Um, and I will see a lot of other people give an answer of 21 uh, on this problem. And that one's really sad. Uh, there's a lot of people out there. I've covered this before, the idea of multiplication by zero. Uh, there are people out there who are going left to right, just adding things up. And then when they're seeing one times zero, they believe one times zero is equal to one. Uh, and the argument I'll get is, well, if I have one apple and I multiply it by zero, I still have my one apple. Uh, what, what those people are failing to understand is that multiplication is about groupings. Uh, people who get 21 as an answer, they don't understand that what we're looking at is if you're talking about apples, you have one apple and zero bags. Think of it that way. Or think of one apple and one bag. If I have one apple and one bag, Okay, if I have one apple and one bag, that's the same thing as one times one, which equals one, right? If I have one apple and I group it in one bag, how many apples do I have in bags? I have one apple in a bag. If I have one apple and I have zero bags, and I'm saying, okay, how many apples do I have in bags? I have zero apples in bags. I still have the one apple. 
but I have zero apples in a bag. That's what multiplication is. That's what this means. Uh, and people are getting confused over that. Uh, so one times zero is a zero. One times zero is zero. Uh, so the answer to this is 20. It's not 21 and it's not one. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, if it is, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing. Uh, and I do look forward to seeing everybody in the next video. See you later.